Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Apex Lunar Dive Torch. So this is a sensible sized dive torch. Um, it fits in the hand uh, very easily. It's, um, it's a little chunky, but that's because it has a big rechargeable battery inside of it to power the really powerful three LEDs on the front. So this can kick out 2000 lumens of bright white light. Um, this is, this is very much a primary dive torch. Um, you don't have to hold it like a, a traditional torch. It does come with a Goodman style handle, which I'll show you in a little bit. Let's take a closer look at what you get inside of the box. Okay, so let's take a look and see what you actually get inside of the box. Um, so here it is. So it comes with this uh, sort of cardboard sleeve, uh, which is nice and eco-friendly. Um, they're really trying to reduce the amount of uh, plastic packaging which comes with them. Uh, on the sleeve, uh, not a great deal of information, but contents, Lunar Dive Light, USB charger, base and lead, um, adapters, lanyard and neoprene wrist mount. Um, comes in this sort of EVA, uh, is it EVA? But this uh, sort of semi-rigid case, which is nice. Uh, you can reuse that for whatever you want. Zippered opening. And then opening it up, we have, uh, I'm just gonna start off with the, um, the small book of words, quick start guide on basically how to use it because the, uh, the Luna has various programmable modes inside of it so that you can adjust the, uh, the power settings uh, whenever you press the button. If you, um, if you don't want the full 2000 lumens to be high, you can just set it to a different setting. So, you get a better control of, uh, of what your torch actually does and yeah, just more information about it. Um, recharging instructions, how to recharge it. Um, yeah, it is powered by a, a USB lead, uh, but of course read all of the book. Uh, this is the Lunar itself. Uh, I'll take a closer look at that later. Uh, a little insert. And then on the inside, so the first thing I'm going to look at is the um, is the sort of neoprene Goodman style handle, uh, just so that you can use the torch a bit more hands free. Uh, you have a plug to uh, to be able to uh, recharge the uh, the torch, and there's the, uh, the other end of that. And then we have. A lanyard so if you're just using it as a traditional torch or you don't trust the other uh, goodman style handle uh, you can attach that to your wrist keep it nice and safe and then a, uh, a small bolt and a little washer so that you can attach it to the goodman handle uh, the box itself yeah decent size um, quite handy for uh, for little bits and bobs uh, but yeah let's take a closer look at the torch itself so uh, I'll attach it to the handle later actually, um, if we take a closer look at the, uh, the torch. So sensible size, the, uh, the body of the torch, so this is milled um, out of uh, either one or two pieces of, uh, of aluminium. It's anodized and, uh, and it's colored gray. Lots of heat sink fins on this, so uh, that's gonna help dissipate the, uh, the heat produced because uh, this is kicking out about 2000 lumens of light, so that's gonna produce a fair amount of heat uh, so when you're um, sort of in the water, this is going to help dissipate that. One thing about this torch is on the inside, it has an intelligent thermal um, uh, sort of chip on the inside. So what that's doing is if it registers that it's getting too hot and it could damage the, uh, the internal components, it's going to automatically dial down the uh, the brightness that the uh, torch is, uh, is kicking out. So... Um, so yeah, it's it's intelligent. It's going to stop itself from damaging itself, um, which is a uh, an amazing feature. Factory sealed as well, so you never have to worry about opening it up or changing O-rings or anything. You recharge it through the uh, the housing of the uh, of the torch itself, so you never have to worry about it flooding. Uh, it feels very strong, uh, very resilient. On the uh, on the front three LEDs, Cree uh, sort of XPL2s or something and there. So yeah, they're the ones that are producing that 2000 lumens of light, built-in lithium ion rechargeable battery. And, uh, and then on the back, so this is how you're going to uh, sort of interact with the torch. You have a single button on the back and then these two little pins, this is how you recharge the torch. Um, so if you take this section of the charger, one, 
uh, is ever so slightly larger. Uh, so it'll only go in one way and you just sort of push it in and that's how you uh, sort of recharge your torch. So you can do that on the go and just top it up as you need it to. Uh, you have a lanyard attachment point just at the base here. So you can attach a lanyard or a bolt snap, whatever you want uh, onto there. And then in the middle here, you have a small screen. Uh, so if I turn the torch on, you can see it literally spells things out. And this is the bit that I really like in that when you're um, uh, sort of in a certain uh, sort of power settings, so right now it's set to high, it tells you exactly how much power you have left in hours and minutes. So at high power, uh, it's got a full two hours. If you turn it down to medium, it automatically sets and, uh, and tells you you've got just over six hours uh, and then 12 hours at low power. So very clever, um, holding it down, or switch it off. So very, very easy to use. Uh, the beam angle is about 20 degrees. Um, so it's got a decent amount of uh, sort of, it's more of a spotlight, but it's still a floodlight as well. It's gonna illuminate uh, quite a lot of what you're aiming at. And um, yeah, you can dial it down really quickly and easily. As I mentioned earlier, this has programmable modes in it. Um, so you can change that instead of kicking out 2000 lumens at high power, you can set it to program two, which is only 1300. So it gives you a real amount of control over your torch in, um, in sort of what it can do. It actually spells it out in this little section here. So you have a small table and that tells you it just tells you the burn times. So if you're looking for the um, the sort of the longest uh, sort of burn time, you'd set it to program three and then set it to uh, to the lowest power setting. Granted, it's not going to be the brightest, but it will last for 36 hours. Um, so if you're really looking for economy, then you can set it to that. British made as well, um, and um, which does does mean a lot to me. Um, it means it's nice and uh, sort of resilient. And um, if you are in the UK, it's uh, it's very easy to uh, to get it maintained. And then you have this small attachment point just down at the bottom. And this is what's going to attach onto the Goodman style handle, which we'll look at now. Okay, attached onto the Goodman style handle. So you get a bolt that just attaches into the head and uh, sort of really locks that down. And then you get this second strap to stop it from rotating, uh, just a Velcro system there to hold it in position. And then you get a neoprene loop strap that goes over your wrist. And then you have a, a Velcro adjustable strap to uh, go around your hand so that you can adjust it. If you're just diving it with uh, with bare hands, then you can make it a little bit smaller. If you've, uh, if you've got thick, chunky gloves, you can actually extend that strap so it's a bit bigger to, uh, to really uh, sort of hold onto that handle. And then you can use the torch pretty freehand. You can still do whatever you need to with your hand. Uh, you can still signal. Uh, you can still use uh, sort of devices and things in the water without having to let go of the torch. Uh, and you can still use it to, uh, to navigate around. So pretty handy um, and very quick and easy to adjust. Um, you don't need any tools. Uh, the only tool that you need is, a, uh, is an Allen key to physically attach the torch to uh, to anchor it down but otherwise to adjust the size of the uh, the handle you don't need any tools um, so if you suddenly get it out your kit bag and you're like oh no i need to adjust the handle you don't need to try and find an allen key or anything to uh, to adjust the size of the straps okay guys so that's the apex lunar dive torch uh yeah it ticks a lot of boxes so 2000 lumens that's really definitely sitting nicely in the primary dive torch um section and pretty bright for night dives out in the Red Sea, somewhere clear blue waters. Um, I'd be quite happy diving with this in, uh, in some British waters. Uh, 20 degrees, pretty good beam angle, uh, sort of fairly, um, fairly spotlight, but also floodlight as well. So it's still illuminating where you're going. Um, one thing that I really, really do like about this is that it's factory sealed. So you'd never have to worry about changing O-rings or flooding or anything. You can recharge it just with a, a cable really quickly and easily. 
Another thing is instead of just like a, an arbitrary traffic light system, it actually has that back screen, which physically says exactly how long uh, that battery is gonna last at the current settings. That's really nice instead of just, yeah, oh, okay, the, it's telling me it's red. Um, it's nice to know that you have 23 minutes remaining. Uh, it really does um, spell it out for you. Yeah, 2000 lumens, uh, two hour burn time at full, uh, which is really good. And you can dial that down anywhere up to 36 hours, which is just insane. Um, it also has a um, emergency SOS strobe mode as well, if you hold the button down. Uh, so yeah, it ticks a lot of boxes. It's got that Goodman handle uh, that sort of comes as standard. I quite like the uh, the fabric Goodman handle. It's um, especially when you're diving it with, uh, with just bare hands. It's a bit more comfortable than the uh, sort of the metal clunky um, Goodman handles. So yeah, ticks a lot of boxes for me. There's going to be far more details on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's going to be a link to the Luna down in the description below. Thank you for watching. Safe diving.